He is... Uh, you know who he is. What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Studio Series Voyager Class Megatron! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So in front here, we have Megatron looking all megatron -y. his name is Megatron, from the first Transformers live-action movie, Transformers! On this side of the box we have... The Megs, on the other side of the box we have the Megs again. He is a Voyager Class, a Class of VRGR, a Deep Voyager, a Class of Viajero, and a Class A Voyager. Up top, Transformers on the bottom. Words, things, barcodes on the back of the box. You have your obligatory product shots, this, that, the other things and stuff. And you have a brief bio if you want to read it in multiple languages. Hooray for languages, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along here, we have a Megatron as he appeared in the first live-action Transformers movie. And here he is in his Cybertronian jet mode. And as you can see, the uh, majority of the figure done in a very nice silver, looking quite, quite good. Let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. It looks pretty good. Again, just a whole lot of silver going on, but looks quite nice. You can see his toes just kind of hanging out up there. And the wings... All that good stuff. I love the uh, the split wing design. I love that they captured that on this figure. I dig that. I dig it. He was missing the little uh, little spikes that are supposed to stick out there, but that's all right. Not a deal breaker. Still looks pretty good in my opinion. The big old tail fin there, and the back. So let's just raise up a bit so you can get a good look at the top. We'll get a good look at the bottom there, and. There you have all that. You stay still. And for comparison, uh, here he is with the Studio Series Revenge of the Fallen Megs. With Studio Series Dark of the Moon Megs. With Prime. And here it is with the original Voyager Movie 1. Megatron and the Studio Series version is, uh, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely an upgrade. Major! Major upgrade. Whoosh. And you know what? We'll just get a nice little group shot here. We'll just bring in Blackout. See if we can do this. Blackout. Bone Crusher. Got Brawl in there, too. Barricade! Uncle Barry! And Starscream. Hang out right back there. There you go. You got your movie one. Decepticon crew. So now let's talk about accessories. He only has one. He has his weapon here. His uh, mace flail weapon. Just done in a dark gray. And this section here. Can rotate. Um, this is not rubber. This is definitely just a. Yeah, you know, there's there's some bend to it, but this is a a stiff plastic here. It has some give, but you don't want to try to actually bend this too far because it'll probably break. So yeah, you got that going on, and you can store this on the jet mode. You can see there these little nubs on either side, and you just plug it here on the side of the jet mode. Like so, you can plug it onto either side, and there you go. That's your storage for it. Hooray for storage. And that's basically it for the jet mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Hey, hey. Ooh, he went for a little while there. So let's just remove this, put this off to the side, and we shall begin. So First thing you want to do is you want to just come to these sections here, just untab these, just pull these up like so. Come back here to the tail fin and just, well, first thing you want to do actually is you want to come here first. You can say tab in, in between the legs there. So kind of untab that, just free that up like so, bring that up and just split that like that. There's a little tab here that goes into a notch there. So you just want to undo that and that will allow you to Bring the legs down, and do the same thing on the other side, just undo that little tab there, and bring the leg down. 
And now we can transform the legs. So, you just want to bring this toe up, spring that down. Does he have a little bit of clearance here? So you want to take this bit here, you want to untab this, and then this will fold over, this will fold in, and this will also just kind of collapse down like that. And you take this section, this folds down, and all of this just folds up and over like that. Then you take this whole thing and rotate it around. This is a little tab there to go in that notch. It's going right there. And then this will just fold over and collapse into the leg like so. And once you've done that, you can bring this heel back. You can take the section of the tail fin, bring it back, and this will tab in to the slot right there. Just tab that in. And there you have a leg all done. Second verse is just like the first. Just bring that toe down, get all this stuff out of the way. Untab, fold, fold, compress, fold, 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 lots of folding. Fold that, swing that around, tab that into that notch, and just fold all this up and over, right into the leg, like so. Bring back the heel, bring this back, Tab that in, right there. Sometimes this side likes to fight me for some reason. Come on. Sometimes it stays tabbed in, sometimes it wants to pop itself back out. It depends. Today, there we go. Nope, come on. Do it, do it! There we go. And there you have the legs all done. So we are done with the lower body. So now moving on to the upper body. You just want to take the arms and you just untab from the sides here. So just bring those out, bring those out. That will free this up and allow you to bring this back. So now you want to undo all of this here. And the instructions are specific about this, but this is how they want everything to sit here when you're going into jet mode. And the instructions aren't super clear about that. So these panels are supposed to sit over this panel here that his head is on. And the instructions have you folding these panels down first and then bringing this down over it seemingly, but that's not how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to look like that. So basically you just kind of want to turn his head to the side and that will free up the one side and then turn his head to the other side. And you can free up the other side. And then we can bring this panel up here with his head and just turn his head around like that. So now you want to come here to the shoulders and these are going to rotate up like so. And there's a little thooping point here. You'll feel a thoop in the place. You can bring the arm down and then just unthoop from the bottom, bring it up to the top, thoop it back in and bring the arm down. So now let's work on his back. We got all this going on here. So you're just going to untab this section here untab this section and then untab this section and you're just going to take all this and just wrap it around like so bring it up like that and that is how you want all that sitting and then this will come up and there are tabs on either side slots on either side right there and you just bring that up and just tab it in plug it in plug it in get all nice and squozen and we're almost done. The last thing you want to do is just flip out his hands. Flip out his hands. And there you go. There you have a Megatron in his robot mode. And he looks good. And yes, he is reusing the Revenge of the Fallen Megatron chest, but I don't care. It looks good. I think he looks awesome, in my personal opinion. I think it looks quite, quite nice. I love the coloration on them. Just really pops. I dig it. I personally dig it. But let's get in close here so we can take a look. Not at his belly, but at his noggin. There's that noggin. That evil, evil noggin. You can see really nicely done head sculpts. Nice detail going on. He's got some nice beady red eyes going on in there. Quite nice. Very nicely done head sculpt in my opinion. Again, you get a nice detail there throughout the body. Uh, that nice, nice silver. Nice little claw hands. He does have some big, uh, some big shins going on here because everything just kind of folds up in there. But still, doesn't look bad as far as I'm concerned. It's big old feet. 
And move out the back. Oh no, it is a pretty clean transformation. I mean, everything, you know, kind of compacts up and just kind of, you know, tucks in. So it's not too bad. I think it all works out pretty well. So all in all, as far as I'm concerned, I think it looks good. Now, articulation-wise, the head is on a ball joint. You get a little bit of wiggly waggly. You can totally look up. The squirrel can totally do that. You can look down some. You also have kind of a double hinge there, so you can have the head kind of, you know, kind of hunched forward or having have it sitting up a little higher. So whatever you want to do there. Of course, the head can rotate a full 360. Arms can do a full 360. They can move in and out. You got bicep rotation. You have 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow. As far as the uh, hands go, you just have inward movement due to transformation. Um, his claws are a hard plastic. In case anybody is curious, this is not this is not rubber or soft plastic or anything. This is actually hard plastic claws, which I'm actually surprised by. So hey, it's a plus. Um, nothing at the waist, just due to how he transforms. Legs can go forward that far, but only oh, back there. We go that far. Just got stuck there. Outward that far. Yeah, thigh rotation. You have over 90 degrees of bend there out of the knee. On the feet, the toes anyway, can move up, they can move down. And you get your ankle tilted. You can also bring that heel piece down to support any posing there. And of course, we can give him his mace flail thing. And how that works is you just fold the hand in, and this just tabs in right in here. Like so, there you go. You can flail, flail, whip, 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 crash, crash, and you can have that going on again. You can't, you can't pose it or anything. It's just kind of sticking straight out there. But hey, it's a thing you can do if you wanna do it. So hey, there you have that. And now for comparison. Here he is with the Studio Series Revenge of the Fallen Megatron, and now we can see what this chest would look like if it was actually painted nicely. Yay! Look at that. Here he is with Dark of the Moon Megatron. Here he is with Prime. And here he is with the original Movie One. Voyager Megatron, you stay, you, you, mm, mm. and again, yeah, this one, major upgrade, totally, totally major upgrade there. Yeah. And now let's get in the group shot here, try to get a little family photo going here, we got Blackout, Screamer, got Brawl, we'll see if we can make this work, we'll see, we'll see, we'll, we'll see. We got Bone Crusher. We got Uncle Barry. I'll even bring in the little Studio Series Scorponok there. We don't have a Studio Series Frenzy, so this is the best I can do. But there you go. There you have the Movie One family. They look quite good together. And the last thing to talk about is the included base of displayage, which is, as always, in the box. Woo! Let just open it up. And there we have the city scene where the final battle took place in the first movie. Number 54, Studio Series Transformers, Transformers movie logo, all that good stuff. And we can just take Megs and plop him down. There you go. There you have your display option. And as always, options are good. So there you have Megatron. And uh, he's a nicely done figure in my opinion. I like how the jet wings uh, tuck away into the legs, you know, so things can tidy up a bit neater. Um, you know, I think that works. It makes his lower legs kind of bulky, but still, I think it works out pretty well. Both modes look good. The jet mode is not exact, but still looks pretty good. The robot mode looks great as far as I'm concerned. It has a smooth transformation process. It's enjoyable to mess with. So, all in all, I think it is a pretty cool figure. So, there you go. Now, I picked this up from Robot Kingdom. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also get Studio Series toys from BigBadToyStore.com, also linked in the description down below. 
You can also check out the Studio Series playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers of Studio Series Voyager Class Megatron. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek. Be proud. Home in your face! Just hand over the cube, Prime, and I'll spare these humans their miserable lives. Listen, Megatron, maybe we can work something out, um... How about, uh, if you're gonna offer me pizza bagels? No, not interested. Strap. Okay, how about... Look, nothing food-related, okay? I, I have all the burritos I need, I'm good. You do drive a hard bargain, Megatron. Um, how about a puppy? Uh, I, I believe Sam has one. I'm sure he wouldn't mind parting with it. How could you? Greater good boy, think of the greater good.